Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between dielectric and electrolyte. Dielectric is basically a liquid that can suddenly break down once a particular potential difference is applied across it. Before breakdown, it acts as insulator, whereas after breakdown, it acts as a good conductor. This breakdown is necessary for spark generation in electric discharge machining. On the other hand, an electrolyte is basically a conductive liquid that carries ions and electrons under the presence of potential difference across two electrodes in electrochemical machining, composition, concentration, fluidity and temperature of electrolyte are crucial factors that can influence capability and material dissolution rate in electrochemical machining. Both dielectric and electrolyte are liquid, both of them helps in removing machine products, or sludge from the inter-electrode gap. So, let's look into the basic differences between dielectric and electrolyte in a tabular form. Difference number 1, dielectric fluid is utilized in electrodischarge machining process, whereas, electrolyte is utilized in electrochemical machining process. Number 2, a dielectric should be electrically non-conductor at normal condition, however, it should behave as good conductor after breakdown, whereas, electrolyte should be good conductor of electricity for completing the electrical circuit to allow smooth flow of ions between electrodes. Number 3, the dielectric should be oxygen free. Due to extreme spark heat, liberation of oxygen can oxidize the work surface, whereas, presence of oxygen in electrolyte does not matter as electrochemical machining process does not generate extreme heat. And, difference number 4, common dielectric fluids used in electrodischarge machining include deionized water, transformer oils, kerosene, paraffin, etc., whereas, commonly used electrolytes in electrochemical machining process include sodium chloride and sodium nitrate solutions, 